Hello Brixton Housing Co-op. This is Sybil from Germany and I am today going to do a about 30 minute Pilates class for you and um, a few of you have attended my classes before so they would kind of know what to expect. I'm gonna do a basic level mat Pilates so all you need is a mat and a little bit of space in your house and I will lead you through the exercises and I'm very happy to do this for you and I do I have very happy to do a class in English finally again and um, I would think we can just get started so let's just come to standing in the center of the mat place your feet hip distance apart and rock a bit back and forth. Breathing in, breathing out, breathing in, breathing out. Let's come standing and then we're going to lift our shoulders up towards our ears and again and again. And then we're gonna place our hands in a triangle on the front, the thumbs meeting just up under the belly button and the index fingers on the pubic bone. Okay, let's rock our pelvis back and forth. Imagine it's a bowl of water where water spills out in the back and in the front and back and forth back and forth. We remain in neutral pelvis, straight line from the hip bones to the pubic bone. Knees are soft. Okay, next we're gonna put a tight corset around our waist. Imagine that there's a tight corset around your waist. You're activating your inner muscles. Your transverse abdominal muscles and then breathe out and let loose. Okay, and again, activate, breathe in and breathe out. Okay, and then we're gonna lift our pelvic floor which has various floor levels and we're gonna just imagine we're gonna hold something in all the way up like an elevator back and front, 10th floor and then slowly coming down. Okay. You can also feel the transverse abdominal muscles and the pelvic floor going up at the same time. Okay, let's do this again. Corset and the elevator front and back. All the way up as tight as you can. And then breathing out, letting go. Okay, let's come up to about 30%. This is the amount of strength we need for the exercises, and it is the strength that we're trying to build. You know, core. Core is basically the pelvic floor, and the transverse abdominal is the center of the core muscles, and this is where we try to gain strength. Okay, then we're gonna do some. Pilates breathing, which works like this. Take your hands, you put it in front of your um, belly, middle fingers meeting, and then you're breathing in to the bottom of your lungs and pressing all the air out like a bellow. In, all filled with air, and one last time, and out. Okay, now we're going to do some mobilizing exercises. We're going to start with the neck. Look straight ahead to the horizon and then breathe in, breathe out, chin to chest, roll your head around, look up, cross your shoulder, breathe in here, 
and breathe out. Roll your head to the other side. Keep your shoulders away from your ears. Last time. And come back to center. We're going to take our hands away from our body. And then we're going to open to the side, breathing in. Follow the hand with your gaze and exhale, close. Try to keep your hips focused towards the front. Imagine there's headlights on your hip bones and you need to light the way forward. Okay? Last time. Okay? Now put your hands on top of your thighs and we're going to come into a squat, easy squat, but try to imagine you're sitting down on an imaginary chair and keep your back straight, going down and up, breathing out, coming up, breathing in, coming down and take your hands up. Three more. Increase the pace a little bit. Get your blood flowing. Next time we're gonna stay down. If you can, keep your pelvis not tilting backward, so the support is from your core. If you can, pulse up and down. Five, four, three, two, one. And come up. Hands above your head. Hands to the side, hands in your side. Rotating of the hip. Bring your <coughs> left foot up. And rotate one and two and three and reverse. And down. Other side. Stabilize yourself and then one, two, three and reverse. One and two and three and down. And a little side bend before we come to the exercises. This is just mobilization. And swing through. Last couple of moves. Okay. Hands to your side. Let's go to the end of the mat. And we're going to come down in a roll down. Okay. Look straight ahead. Remember all the posture. Important elements of coming down, of standing up. Core activated. Neutral uh, pelvis. 30% pelvic floor and the transverse abdominal muscle. Shoulders away from the ears, shoulders down. Slight curve in the back of your neck. Let's do a couple of breaths here. Just imagine you're pushing the air out through a straw. Yeah? That'll help you activate your inner muscles a bit better. Okay, do again. 
Breathing in through the nose. And on through an imaginary straw. One more time. And you can maybe feel belly button going to the spine. Okay, let's get going with the exercises. Breathe in, breathe out. Chin to chest, shoulders come down. And then we're rolling down. Vertebrae by vertebrae until we come down on the mat. If you can, and I'm sure you do, stay here in plank for 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, let's come back up. Walk your hands back to your feet. Let yourself hang. Knees are soft. Breathe in and breathe out, roll up. Okay, let's do three push-ups. I'll go with you. Breathe in. Breathe out. Walk your hands forward. Come on, hands and knees. And then you can do push-up. Box push-up. Or three quarter push up. Keep your back straight and then we walk back. Breathe in, breathe out, roll down. Word breath back, word breath. Walk your hands forward. And do your version of the push-up. Three repetitions. Off, up and down and then coming back. This is our last repetition of the push-up. away from you. One last time. Hands back to your feet. Now just let yourself hang here. A brief moment. Open up the back of your legs. Breathe in. And now really slowly Roll back up, standing. Feel your body. Inhale. Exhale. Roll down again. Come on to all fours. And here we are in box position. Right. So, just make sure that your wrists are directly underneath your shoulders and your knees are directly underneath your hips and that your back is straight. Just do a bit of a pelvic curl here. Just figure out where's the neutral now. Find out. Okay, come to stillness. Imagine there is a tray with a glasses of champagne on, the, on your back and it's not going to move and it's not going to fall over what we're going to do next. So we're going to bring our right leg out straight, extend your leg, flex your foot, extend, flex and keep your pelvis in a straight neutral line. Okay, come back in. Other side. Ex 
extend, flex, extend, flex. Just get a feeling for the length in your leg and the neutral position of your pelvis when doing this exercise. Come back down. Okay. Now we're going to do opposite arm, opposite leg. And we're focusing on lengthening arm and leg. We're going to keep a straight line through the center of the body. And lengthen, lengthen, lengthen. Breathe in. And exhale, breathe out. Breathing in. Let's do three each side. Okay, keep your hands where they are and get your buttocks towards your heels. Keep your head between your arms. Move your fingers forward on the mat or on the floor where you are. And then come lying down on the mat. Let's do another, if you want to, do another quick plank here again. Just to strengthen your core. And five, four, three, two, one. Calm down. Let yourself down. All right. Let's place our hands, our arms in an E shape. Like if we were gonna build a capital E with our head and our arms, elbows in line with the shoulders, shoulders flat. Keep your nose slightly touching the mat, forehead on the mat, and then just go and Think through all the elements from when we were standing up. So, transverse abdominal muscles, meaning belly button to the spine. Push your pubic bone slightly into the mat and press your legs down. Press your legs down and lengthen. And then widen your back. Shoulders are moving ever so slightly out towards each side. All right. Breathe in and out. And we're going to just slightly lift our head. So we're going to work the mid upper section of our spine. Breathing in. Breathing out. And out. Last time. It's a mobilizing exercise. Okay, keep your legs down strong. And then we're going to lift the whole capital E up. Breathing out. Down. Breathing in. Up. Breathing out, down. Last two. Okay, let's make this a little bit more difficult. We're coming up, breathing in. We're breathing out. Coming forward. Moving our hands back. And we have the palms of our hands facing each other and like swimming in the air. Keep your upper body lifted. Keep your legs down. And then... Breathe in. 
Last one. And down. Head, uh, arms forward above your head. Keep them lifted and now lift your legs if you can. Hold it there. Keep your midsection activated. Activate your glutes. And then shortly come down. Head on one side. Arms to one side. Breathing in and out. Lay your head on the other side. Breathing in and out. Let it loose. Let your muscles loose. Okay. Now let's do some swimming here. Bring your arms above your head. Look down towards the mat. Lift arms and legs. And then swim in this position. And five, three, and one. Hold it, hold it, and down. Push yourself up and come into child's pose, wide open legs. Gonna come lying on our side. Bring your hands, uh, your legs slightly forward. Have your upper body in a straight line arranged at the back of the mat, and you can have your head rested comfortably on your upper arm. And if you like, you can have your palm facing up or down. The matter is that we try to keep in this position during the following exercises. Bring your hand up and just try to feel how strong is your position. And again, think about all the elements of the initial setup. Yeah, okay. And then bring your hand either on your hip or in front of you and then lift one leg up toes pointing away and then flex your foot and down breathing in and out lengthen the leg away from you and the supporting leg which is on the floor also is strong so that also is lengthening away and is helping you keep the position Keep your abdominal muscles, your transverse abdominal muscles, well engaged during this exercise. And last one. Keep your foot up, or your leg up. And now we're going to do three circles with the heel in one direction. And then we're going to change two, three. Try to use one breath in and out during doing the circles. Now we're going to do one leg kick. So we're going to come forward with pointed toes and back. And forward and back. Nothing is moving apart from the leg. Keep strong. And one, two and three keep it up bring your lower leg to meet the upper leg bring your arm up keep strong okay and then we're gonna just push up do a mermaid stretch here 
So you have your upper leg going back and your lower leg just at the front in a parallel line more or less to the mat. And we're gonna come to this side. And here. Last one. Okay, let's go to the other side. Swing your legs around. Set yourself up. Your feet, your legs are slightly in a position so you can actually properly see them. The rest of your body is all stable. Bring your arm up. Breathing in and out. And then we're gonna start one, two, three, four, and five. Keep your head and uh, leg up, and we're gonna do circles. One, two, three, and change direction. One. And two and three. Keep it up. And we're going to do with a one leg kick and forward and back. Last two. Keep it up. Bring the lower leg towards it. Lift your arm. Balance. Keep strong. A little bit of shaking is always a good thing. It means your muscles are working. Hug your muscles to the bone. And one more breath. And come down. Push yourself up and we do a moment on the other side. before we come to an end for today. So just sit up straight, have your legs away from you and then slowly roll down, subtle spine. Arms behind your head, bring your feet closer to your buttocks and place your arms on the side. Just feel your spine, feel the neutral pelvis and there's what we call it in Pilates, some kind of imprint going on. So you can actually imagine your spine's imprint on the mat. Visualization should help you. Just keep the position strong, keep your pelvis neutral, and keep your core, your pelvic floor, and your transverse abdominal engaged and strong so you don't hurt any other muscles or any other joints, like lower back or your hip joint. And now we're going to come with our right leg into tabletop, knee directly above the hip and then pressing down even a little bit more and then the other side. If you have a curve underneath your lower back now, you're doing that, you should put a towel underneath your lower back. Okay, let's come up and we'll do the 100. Just get going a little bit, blood flowing and uh, 
Breathing in for five and out for five. Who wants can put their legs straight, move your legs up and down. If that is too much for you, then just keep your legs in tabletop. And if that starts becoming too much for you as well, just put your head back down. Otherwise, stay with me. Three more. I think that was three. One more. Okay. Keep your legs up, or if you want to put them down, then just put your head down. Keep your head in your hands. And then come up. And three more. And the last one. Okay. Put your hands on your knees and bring your knees towards the center of your body. Rotate your legs and then place one leg down at a time stabilize your feet stabilize your legs and we're going to come into shoulder bridge first bring your arms up and just lift one leg arm up at a time and place it back down widening the back of your body while your shoulders are just creating some space between the shoulder blades arms down and then inhale exhale come up and inhale up here exhale Three more. We're only moving our spine vertebrae by vertebrae on the exhale. Keep your legs stable. Keep your feet planted and put your spine down vertebrae by vertebrae. Okay. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Okay. Now who wants to do a little bit more advanced can come with me. So you're coming up. Otherwise just continue doing it. And then bring your right leg into diagonal to the ceiling and down and again up and down and up and down place it down other side keep your straight line and down okay now place Stay up in this shoulder bridge. Place your hands, arms behind your head. And then just lift and lift and lift your pelvis ever so slightly more. And then breathe in one last time. And out. Place your lower your spine down, mid spine, lower spine, and then roll it all down.
onto your sits bones. And come back to neutral. And then we're gonna to come to some just relaxation. So we've done enough for today. Just make your arms wide. Put your legs to one side, look towards the other side. Breathing in and out. Extend the upper leg if you want to, if you can, if that feels good for you. Keep your shoulders as much as possible on the floor. Breathe in to the side, mid, lower back section. Increase the stretch through breath. And then bring your legs back together. And we're going to swap to the other side. One last breath here, and back together. That's the arms on the side. Place your left heel on the right knee, and if you, if that is enough for you, then that's fine. If you can, grab hold of your right thigh and pull it in. Other side. Okay. Now hold your legs behind here on the on the thighs and then roll up and up. Come up, turn around, come on to hands and knees, and then stretch. Last time. Okay, push yourself up, downward facing dog, walk that dog. One heel down, other heel down, and down, and down, and down. Okay. And then, just keep the heel down. Push your body away with your hands. Lift that pelvis towards the ceiling, straight back, as straight as you can. And then we're going to walk back. To our feet. Swing ever so little from side to side. And then last breath in and roll up. Vertebrae by vertebrae. Come back to the center of your mat. Bring your heads, uh, your arms up. Look between your arms and down. And one more time. Bring your stand in the middle of the mat. And just stand straight. Breathe in and out. Bring your hands to the front of your heart and thank yourself and your body for this practice. And I hope you have enjoyed this practice here live. Uh, well, it's not live, but from Germany. <laughs> um, hope to see you guys sometime this year. It would be nice. And um, let's see if. There are some requests or comments, let me know. I might be able to do this again for you. Really enjoyed that. And I hope so did you. Have a lovely day, have a good week. And um, all the best.
best. <laughs>